everyone. Welcome back to RTS and welcome back to another segment of Rearrange the Stuff. Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to share today is something that has been asked by my lovely subscribers and one in particular, Clee. She had asked me, can you share what is to your left and what is to your right and what is on your desk? Because it helps give a visual because a lot of times I'll say I don't get off my seat because I like to have things in arm's reach. So they wanted to, uh, she in particular wanted to know what do you have nearby? And so then other people have asked the same question what do, what do I give prime real estate so you know that commercial what's in your wallet <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. What's on your work surface? So, and please share below what is the main things you keep to your left and to your right, okay? So that's what I'm absolutely going to share today. So to my very left will always be a couple notebooks and um, the month of inspiration from Page Maps. I go there a lot for inspiration and it's new every month. So I, when this happens and the, the download happens, the first of every month, I will print two. One goes in my binder for my sketches and I keep one on my desk. And then if it gets ruined and wrinkled no big deal so i always have some type of inspiration underneath my notebooks and i always have notebooks or some form of scrap paper floating on my desk to, the, to my left because I'm left-handed. And so that goes with saying what you, you know, if you're left-handed, keep your main thing to your very left. If you're right-handed, keep the very main thing to your right, okay? For me, it would be having a place for all my thoughts because I have a ton of thoughts. <laughs> And this has just been the last, yeah, it's just a ton of thoughts. I just always have to have paper nearby. And I always have my planner and my three notebooks going. So that's what I have. And so then, of course, right with this, what would I have? Well, I have my cup of pencils. <laughs> pencils and pens and that type of thing. And so these three pencils here is uh, pencils I use in my scrapbooking. I always try to keep them sharpened. And if you want to use pencils in your scrapbooking, you always pick pencils with white erasers because they're better at erasing pencil marks rather than those what are they, pink, red, whatever. You always want white erasers. So that's why I always have, uh, and of course, you know, in my space, I have like a butter yellow and a black and white uh, twa thing going on in my space. And so everything is usually black or white. And so, uh, yes. So, and then I also have my favorite uh, slick writers in different um uh, fine, medium, and bold, and then my Zig. I kind of don't use these as much. I use my slip writers. You can still find these at Hobby Lobby. And then, of course, just some of my pens and my favorite pen in the world, my Vera Bradley pen. Yeah, I splurged and paid a lot of money for a pen. Oh, well, when you're working your new planner, you got to feel like you're actually doing something. Yeah, so that... Of course, this is right beside my notebooks because you want to use, uh, put things together to use together. That is from the lovely Tiffany Spaulding. She has said that so many times over the years. I, I just don't forget what she said. Okay, so then of course, right that with that is my favorite embellishment. And during our summer space shape up, I had said your favorite embellishment should be in a pretty bowl and sit uh have prime real estate because then you're always more apt and it makes you happy because it's your favorite embellishment of course there's my clicker for my filming <laughs> and then i have my uh, bowl of brands that is my favorite embellishment in the world in my favorite color in the world and so that makes me happy and i don't have a lot of this type of thing on my desk because you know you can get too many of these okay and then they get dusty and so then that would just be more things i have to clean and i don't want to do that i want to scrap I don't want to clean. Okay, so I have my bowl of breads in my jadeite bowl. And then, of course, you probably see this in about every video, as I have this little jadeite mason jar shaped thing found at Walmart. It was in a stocking one year. And I just have a little bit of washi here. And I keep this on my desk all the time because when I do videos and I go to edit, I always know which way is the correct way in case something gets flipped. So that was just a little trick I learned in the very beginning. Uh, if I know that's in the upper left, then I know if my videos are inverted, that type of thing. Okay, so then we'll go to the main thing that's on my desk, on my work surface, is my tool caddy. Okay, so let me move this. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so I had to move my tool caddy because I don't want to move my camera too much. So this is my honkin' tool caddy, and a lot of us have this, okay? Now, I think, I don't know, did Making Memories come out with one of these years ago? I don't know who was the very first one, but this is just a white carousel. That's all this is, and this was a Christmas gift from my little one and my hubby one Christmas, and they were sold at Michael's because I know uh, my little one used a coupon because then I was like, oh, you shouldn't have used a coupon. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yes, okay. So what do I have in the tool caddy? Well, you can see, I would say the majority of things 
is for my tool is scissors. I mean, I was just looking. I mean, scissors, 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 scissors. Oh, there's a hammer. And then scissors, scissors, scissors. So how many pairs? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 10, 11, 12 pairs of scissors. Yeah, that's just what we have a lot of. And so all my scissors are right here. Everything of my scissors is right here. I keep them all together. And of course, you know, I have my hammer because I still use it. I use it in my home more than my scrap space. And then I have a, a bundle of, oh, what are those things called? Paint brushes. Yes. And sometimes I think I use this end of a paintbrush more than the bristles, but you know, that's life. And then of course, you know, I have my uh, Martha Stewart fringe scissors. I have them in there. My Tim Holtz, my left-handed scissors. Then my other Martha Stewart. This is one of my favorite pair of scissors. These Martha Stewart, good, good tools that Martha Stewart. And of course, I had to have these just because they were gold. I absolutely didn't need them, but I wanted them. So I bought them. Yeah, of course, that was before the spending freeze happened. And then, of course, you know, I have my crimpers. Yes, and they're my fiskers. I've had them forever. My mom had a pair of them. Okay, so yes, I'm left-handed, so scissors is a struggle for me. So staying with the scissors, you can see, I'll move this right here. I have all these other little scissors. These are my smaller scissors with my smaller point, and I use these every single time I scrap. Non-stick pointy scissors, or non-stick and pointy, of course. And there's my two staplers, you know, my little Timmy. And then coming here... What do we have? We have all these little bits and bobs, these little, little tools. So there's emery boards and things for mixed media, which I absolutely do not use them very much. And then some red eye pens and my Tim Holtz uh, stick, uh, this Zig glue pen, which I actually don't even know I had that. Two-way glue. Well, I probably should think about that. And then, of course, my stylus, my bone folder, that type of thing, those little tools. Okay, and what else is that? Oh, yes, uh, you always need a plastic knife when you're doing mixed media stuff and emery boards. And uh, why do I have emery boards? Uh, that should have, uh, I use that to, tr um, well, you could distress with that, of course. But then also I use that to sharpen my trimmer blades for just a little bit of extension of a life. It doesn't do a lot, but it's something. And then, of course, you know, I have my little nail sticks. So all these, exacto knives, all these little bits and bobs are in there, okay? And then, of course, uh, my chalking uh, applicator and then tweezers and then my tracing wheels, which you've seen me use that. And on Prime Real Estate is my two, if I had the space, my other third hexagon. Well, it's really not there very far. Uh, actually, I'm using it for a kit right now, so it's to my right. So I use, all three of my hexagons are always on my desk, and that has been probably for the last year. I've just really fell in love with them. And so there's my uh, small and my medium size. And then here, of course, we have my glorified hole puncher, which is the crocodile. Yes. I don't you really use that anything but punching holes, but it's something good to have. And my blade for my Martha Stewart circle cutter, which I'll show that in a minute. And then this is all the Sharpies I own. That's it. That's all the markers. And well, I have a few markers over here, but that's all my Sharpies. And then, of course, over here, I have my undo, which that's always nearby. And then uh, my uh, corner rinder. Uh, what do we call that? Uh, oh, the corner chomper. Okay. I only have one of those. And then, of course, oh, there's a few more Sharpies. Oh, yeah, there's my metallics. And then uh, my Wink of, Stellar pen, Wink of Stella pens and a few more of my, I have an obsession with Slick Rider pens. I have them in, uh, I have a, quite a few of them in my kitchen. And uh, my hubby uses them in his office because they do. You can write on page protectors and all kinds of files, you know, different uh, media files, and it doesn't come off. And then I use these for my Bible journaling. And then uh, on the outside, well... Yeah, okay, on the outside here, I have my uh, button shank removers or flush pliers, they are now called. And again, another little pair of mini, mini scissors and some tweezers, okay? More staples. I think I covered all that. Yes, we're back to the beginning. So that is what is in my tool caddy. It is very, very heavy, and I only clean this about twice a year. I will take everything out and clean it, put it back in, but every once in a while, I'll just give it a little dusting. Oh, I do have some drawers. What do I have in the drawers? Well, I have my supply of Tim Holtz staples and regular staples, and what's in my other drawer? rechargeable batteries that I go with a camera I don't even think I have anymore and bits and bobs that have fell off of pages <laughs> yeah uh, yeah and then just some buttons and um, my scissor protectors uh, because when I travel I have to make sure my scissors have a protector on them and then I have distressors and my piecing 
piercing tools and distressors and then a couple of needles and then I have a key to apparently I have no idea well maybe it's the key to my daughter's heart so there we go <laughs> yes I don't even know what that's for and that's all I have I just have three drawers so that is very heavy but this is one of those to uh, organization tools I think that once you start to get the you know start getting addition of these this is absolutely of course you can start with a bucket or a basket or a bin but look at that when you can have that turn Oh, yes, I absolutely, I think I take this for granted because I've had it for so long and it, it has held up. I mean, it is absolutely has held up. It's heavy, okay? I mean, I can't even lift it when I'm sitting down. It's that heavy. But it's one of those things I do think I take it for granted, but if it wasn't here, I would be lost without it. So this is a good investment for organizing. So let me move this. I have to stand. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, heavy, heavy. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Okay. So then of course I have, uh, on the rest of my desk is I have my uh, tea warmer, which is just a Mr. Coffee Mate little warmer. I keep my tea warm because I'm back here for a little bit and I like to have my tea warm. I don't like to keep running back to the kitchen to warm it up. And then I have lights up on lights up on lights. <laughs> yes. looks like a runway. And then right in front of me, I will slide this down as I have this little tray. Okay. And so then this tray is where my, basically all my adhesives are other than my ATG. And so of course, oh, well, there's my EK66 powder tool. And then I have my um, glossy accents and then uh, my quick dry and there's my backup for when that empties and there's my backup for my backup <laughs> I love my quick dry and then my mono and then uh, a new glue that I am uh, trying out and absolutely loving right now it is uh, by the same company scotch as the quick dry and it is called permanent super glue but it's in a gel and it absolutely has a fine point. So it's been very working very well for me. And then my corner rounder, because this is something I use often, but it's one of those tools that I use more often because it's in front of me. So that is what I have. This is my adhesive tray. And that's all I keep on there. I don't put any bits and bobs or anything. I really just keep that on there. Okay. And so then once in a while, I'll have an extra one of these because this is getting a little low. And so I would sometimes pull out one of those, okay? So that is what is right in front of me, okay? You don't see it on camera, but it's right in front of me. And then right behind that is my decorative little piece that I look at. And so I had a video recently showing how you could dress up your work surface in a very cheap manner. And right now in front of me, this is what I have. And I change it every couple months. And this is just a placemat from Walmart, I think a dollar eighty-eight. And so, of course, this looked fall uh, and home to me. So this is what I'm going to have till Christmas, okay? And then that's what I'm going to have. And so that's what I look at when I'm looking straightforward. This is what I see. And then I usually have something that just recently came in the mail, and it's just something I want to look at. It makes me feel happy. And so one of my friends, Glory, recently sent me this beautiful card, and I have this sitting right in front of me. Now my desk is quite. Uh, it's long and it's very, very wide. It seems like it goes for about a half of a mile. It's very wide, okay? And it's a hutch. So I have three levels, okay? So, yeah, it's a, it's like a, an old time computer desk, like back in the day, and it's very sturdy. And my husband's asking me to update it, but I don't know. I think I've become so accustomed to using these three levels because you know the old saying, when you can't build out, you build up. And so in a scrap room, that's what we do. We build up. Okay. And so with my desk, it's wide. And then I have uh, two more levels. So yeah, I don't know if I'm in a hurry to get rid of it, but anyways, so I look at, and I have plenty of room for all of this in front of me. Uh, for, and this all is behind my adhesive tray. And then this is my card that Glory had made. And when I see it, it makes me happy and smile. So that's what I say, you know, dollar radiate for placemat, a piece of happy mail, put it in front of you. It makes you smile. Okay. So then of course, you know, I have my my, my absolute inspiration of my whole entire life right here. I have that sitting right near my near me. Okay. Rely on that. So that that is all in front of me. But I, I didn't want to reach over the camera. So I just pulled that. Okay. So then uh, to the right of me uh, in, you know, closer to the back. Because this, this goes for a while. And I have to pick this up. Is that I have another organizer. And I would be lost without this too. And this is simply... An organizer that would be considered um, a letter sorter, okay? And I found this at, uh, not Target, I found this a Tuesday morning years ago, and it's very pretty. It matches my room. It has a decorative, I don't know if you can see that. It has a decorative, 
and it's got four slots. And so in the four, first slot, I have platforms. That's what I keep. And so I uh, have found that I will stamp more often if my tools are easily accessible. So my platforms and then uh, my Martha Stewart circle cutter is there. And then in my second uh, slot is my stamp cleaner and then this honking big roll of foam tape, which I've had that. Uh, I've been using the ones from the Dollar Tree, so I haven't touched more into that. And then I have a place for loose memorabilia that I know I want to keep, but then sometimes it gets lost. I designated a spot just for memorabilia or loose things that I, you know, someone's handwriting, things like that. And then in my last spot here, I have my magnetic platform, okay, and then I have my extra cutting plates. And then, of course, my one top plate. Now, why do I have that there? It's because to the, uh, let's say, to the next next right, I have another table. It's like an L shape. I have my die cutting system over all there. So I just keep that there because I can just reach, and it's right there. So whatever I need in arm's reach is right here. Okay. Now, also, to the right of me, I have more space. I did have more space at one time when I didn't have so many lights and my filming equipment. But to the right of me is where I have my pro layout in progress or whatever project I'm working on. That is what's right there. Okay, so now we can talk about the layers that I have, you know, because I have like a hutch type desk and so I have two more layers, two more tiers. And so to the very left is where I have all my inspiration, which I'll be talking about that coming up. And then I have, and I'll just reach here because I'm reaching a level, as I have my basket of reading glasses. <laughs> Yes, I have a whole basket of reading glasses, a little inspirational book my hubby gave me. Of course, a photo of me. I just have that there. And then something I give very prime real estate on my desk is my catalog of my kits and my 12 by 12 paper pads, okay? And you've seen that in videos too. And then I also have, let me stand up, is that I have a whole... A container of and these are just nouveau crystal drops and a few liquid pearls and i just have that this is one of those type of embellishments if i did not have it sitting out i would probably never use it so uh, it's one of those things i'm glad i have them but i almost wish i didn't buy them you know on the fence i have a video about that i will link it below the ins and the outs of nouveau crystal drops okay okay so then on the very top tier is i have decorative pieces because, you know, I do want to make my room pretty. So I have decorative pieces. And then I also, too, have my Bible journaling things on the very top. And then I have a huge cookie jar of ATG. <laughs> yes, a huge cookie jar of ATG refills. And then uh, just other decorative pieces. And then I have a basket where all my layouts that are in progress, that's where I have. And so that is basically, I'm looking around. And that's what's on my work surface to my left to my right and when I look up to my left and to my right okay so everything is either you know I have a few pieces of decorative most of it's functional and I don't like to see a lot of things so I try to uh, have things in containers and things like that so I don't see things too much okay now then uh, since I do have a desk you know on the bottom left that is where I have photos stored and photo boxes which you'll be seeing them coming up in our photo series it's starting soon and then to the right of me I also have of I could move these for a minute I have to the right of me of course I have a drawer and in that drawer I have my sticker books <laughs> yes and then my catalog binder and my flare binder okay and then I also have my water stickers water strips so again these are things that I use all the time because they're so easy I mean I just open a drawer there they are and then I have also my other platforms and my embossing not my embossing what's that thing called um scoring I have those just in a little in my drawer there okay so that basically and of course you know baby wipes yes I have them <laughs> that is that is basically what I have but for the prime real estate it has to be something special now every once in a while I will make up an embellishment kit and I'll show that real quick and I will be showing my catalog binder and I have showed my flare binder. So if you want to, uh, that is one of in our summer space shape up. And so I will have that linked below. And so every once in a while I will make up an embellishment kit and then I will keep that out and about for just something to grab on the fly. <laughs> And so sometimes that will have prime real estate. It depends on what kit I'm working on, but mostly this is not very far 
okay? So this would be a good thing to do for your desk rather than having a ton of bowls sitting around. I mean, have something with your favorite embellishment, of course, but then also to uh, have one of these little iris four by six boxes and then you can put all those bits and bobs in that you don't know where to go. And then also too, it serves as the same thing as an embellishment kit that you can always just have, I mean, there's a variety. There's nothing you couldn't find in there. I bet there would be everything but the kitchen sink in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is everything in there. I mean, from butterflies to flare to paper clips to die cuts to chipboard to buttons, toothpicks, everything in there. Okay. So this would be a good place to keep your desk clean from all those bits and bobs that happen from leftovers. And then also too, you're making yourself your own embellishment kit. Okay. So that way you don't have to get off your seat to get anything. So yes, I have that embellishment kit. And then if I have leftover stickers, I don't want to put them in a sticker a binder or a book. I just stick them right on the lid. That's exactly what I do. Yes. Love having this little thing. I, I have set this up months and months ago. I think it was February and it has stayed. I just keep adding to it and taking away. So yes, that would be something I would give a little bit of a prime real estate and I just have this to the right along with the project I'm working on. Okay, I'm trying to look. I think that's it. Of course, you know, I have my T-square rollers, okay, and then I have cutting mats, my platform, my Tim Holtz platform, and this is to the right of me, right where my border stickers are and there's sticker books and my catalog binder, and then uh, you've seen this before as I also have all my stitching templates in this pocket folder and that is basically my scoreboard oh and then two more things i have my thicker alignment guides yes i'm trying to see what else that's it that's what i have and then maybe some page protectors I have there in case I need to put, uh, you know, uh, for a kit or something, I have a little bag of page protectors. But other than that, that is my work surface. And I have changed that over the time, but I know from taking Tiffany Spalding's organizing classes, and you don't have to have totally Tiffany products to do that. And I'll have that link below. She has wonderful ideas for any type of scrapper. You don't have to have her product. That's what makes her so special. And then I try to make sure I don't have a lot. I want to keep my desk clean. So I'm always inspired to scrap. Okay. And then, but also too, the things I use often have to be here and here and here and here, not very far. Okay. But not up close and personal, but in arm's reach. Okay. Now, if you don't have a big desk, you definitely can use a RAS cog and do the same thing. And I will be talking about a RAS cog. I'm actually going to do a video about my RAS cog because well, you'll see. Okay. And so I think that is all I have to share for my workspace. Oh, well, no, I lied. I have something here. I have my, I have two little book of scraps. Okay. And I recently did a video about that. So that is something that is usually right on top of this embellishment. Okay. Two little books of scraps. Okay. Oh, and then huh, yes, my scrap folder. That's, that's all the scraps I have. That's the only scraps I use. And that is to my very right. That sits right beside that letter organizer. So yes, that's my scrap folder. Okay. Oh yes, I do have one more area. Oh my goodness. I have this, uh, like think of a computer desk and where you would put your keyboard. I have one of those. So I'll show you what I have there. I'm sorry. We'll just keep on going. So Clee, I hope this is something is helpful. I know she was uh, wanting to know what was there because she wanted to know what I thought should have prime prime real estate on your desk. And honestly, it's a personal thing. It's whatever you reach for the most. If it's your mist and sprays, by all means, put them nearby. If it's your tools, have them. And I think for me, if there's something that I don't use, I have to somehow get it closer and closer to my desk. Maybe not in my face, but not very far. Just like a couple steps. Like my stamps are just a couple steps away from my desk because I think I get lazy and I won't use them. So if I open up my tray here, you'll see that I have... Well, I'm, 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 ah, my T square was late. I have my ATG gun. Okay, now this is this is just my little uh, drawer here, like you know where your keyboard would go. And then of course I have a picture of my little one, some wax paper, again more scratch paper, and then I have this little divider. <laughs> This organizer tray, and this honestly fits where you know where your keyboard would be. That fits right there. And then I always have some refills. Uh, mounting uh, squares and my score tape, my red line and uh, dice. You'll see what they're for coming up. 
Yes, nice. You say, goodness God, what are you doing in your space that you need dice, okay? And then, of course, some of my favorite pens, hand lotion, and then some my Tim Holtz because I never know where to put these little things because I always seem to either lose them or I don't know where they are when I need them. So I just simply put them in a little bag and I put them right front and center. And then, of course, I've had a lot of sinus issues, so there's my inhaler. And then... I have a little uh, diagram of my thicker organization, and I'll talk about that. But I have that handy so I know where to go in what container for my thickers. And then, uh, again, ATG uh, foam, removable um, tape runner, pencil sharpener, binder clips, that type of thing, office stuff, another distressor. Okay, so that is like my little bit of my office tray. How's that? My little bit of an office tray. And this is what I use to for my breads and things like that. And then I have my blade that's marked with X's and I use that for cutting foil and glitter and magnetic sheets. And that'll be I'll be showing that coming up. Okay, so for this tray, it's basically like an office tray type of thing that anything that I need that are, is small and that I want at an instant is here. Especially my ATG refills, I don't have to get off my seat to get any, which isn't that far away anyways. But I just keep a couple there, my foam tape of course, and then uh, what I use for my breads and Kleenexes and things like that. So those things that can kind of take over your desk, have them in a certain bin or basket or tray or something just to keep your work surface more tidy okay love having this and isn't it something how you can repurpose something over and over and over again when this first came I think it came in a 12 by 12 photo box and I I don't even know what I used it for originally but then at one time it housed my wood veneer and then at another time it housed my washi and so now look what I'm using it for and I've used this probably four or five years so it's just a little tray divider tray and I use that for my office tray yes and I have that very nearby and then of course my ATG and then my beautiful inspiration, it keeps me going, and my wax paper and scratch paper. That's all here on this little keyboard slider tray at my fingertips. Love that. And then the next thing, and I think probably the most important thing you need to consider when you're setting up your work surface and creating a work area that's very efficient is this last tool, our trimmer, okay? Now, I probably get a little bit of a glare. Sorry about that. So for the trimmer, okay? Now, this is one thing you have to consider because some of us are going to have a trimmer that we want and then the trimmer that we need, okay? For me, I would love to have a trimmer that I would did not have to keep replacing blades. These things keep adding up, okay? And I have been scrapbooking a long time, so I have put a lot of money into blades. However, I'm left-handed, so I have to make sure that the trimmer fits me as a left-handed person, which will be this one, okay? That's what I'm down to. And then also, too, in the way that I use my trimmer on my desk, I have to consider the type of trimmer that I buy. I absolutely cannot have a trimmer that takes up a, like a 13 to 14, 15 inch footprint because I don't have that room on my desk for that, okay? So my trimmer is something that I pick up and I just take to my right. It sits on my other desk here beside me and it has to be very portable and light. And this is why I have stuck with this Fiskars trimmer for many years. And of course, Fiskars, lifetime warranty. <laughs> you know, you can't say that enough. And so you have to consider that if you have a trimmer that you love and you you know because we use the trimmer every time we sit down to scrap and we use it multiple times during that scrap session or card making session so this has to be something you consider when you're setting up your work surface where will your trimmer go okay and then also too you have to have a workflow so where are you going to go for your trimmer do you want to get out of your seat every time to use your trimmer for a lot of us that answer is going to be no so I say before you start considering setting up your work surface and your workflow on your desk where is this going to go? Okay, this has to have the most prime real estate. Now, for me, I have things to my left. I have things to my right. Okay, for my left is my inspiration and my cups and pens and things like for my notes. And then to the right is where my project is going to be. So then, of course, then I just have my trimmer because it's very lightweight and it's portable, which is what I need in a trimmer. Not what I want, but what I need. I have to make sure this is something I can move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, you can't do that with a cutter pillar pro or one of those guillotines that doesn't happen so consider your trimmer when you're setting up your work surface now 
Okay, so when you are sitting there and trying to think about what you want on your work surface or what you're going to give prime real estate on your desk, the best way to do that is to give it a few days. And then while you're in the middle of your scrap session or making cards or crafting, whatever you're doing, keep a, a note. And I mean a physical note. That's why I have paper and pens by. Uh, of the items that you have to keep getting up to get and the items you have to keep putting away over and over and over again. Those are the items you need to move closer to your desk and perhaps perhaps at times put on your desk, okay? And that will be different for everybody because we all use different supplies and different tools. And then also too, with that, uh, take into account that what you have on your desk for now, maybe in six months that will be different because we cycle through things and we also uh, grow and change in this journey. So it isn't always the same every year. Just keep that in mind. So again, I hope that helped give a few ideas and to show what I give uh, prime real estate, what I have to my left, what do I have to my right? Because I'm someone I do not want to get off my seat but I will <laughs> I don't have I don't have a big space so it's no big deal to get off my seat but when I'm in a creative zone I want everything to my left everything to my right okay and so uh, of course with that consider the type of scrapper you are okay the type of card maker you are the type of crafter you are and that will help you determine what you want nearby okay so that is what is on my work surface what is on your work surface okay share below because we all like to see we can learn and share with each other. Okay, that's all I have for RTS and come back because you never know what we're going to learn. Bye!